thanks for joining us on TV Asia Nationwide and around the world. Uh, you are a legendary quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, that's nice. You, you displayed you displayed a zest for life out there that one rarely sees in a human being these days. How much of that can you attribute to your career in football, uh, sports, and to just being a person? Yeah, well, the, one of the things um, that I always learned was what, 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 what made me happy. And so when I was old enough to try to, because that's something I was always at, asking, me, you know, what I want, what I want, what I want, what's, what's, what's going to make me happy? And the football was, was a blessing. God just blessed me. And the energy that I had that I display now, it's just because I'm happy. And, and, you know, honestly, when you travel around the country and speak to various companies, you don't know anybody. But what's, what, what everybody has in common is the fact that they are a human being, families, family problems, working hard, trying to provide. And so I, that's kind of been the, you know, the basis for everything I do. And then and the energy is something that is as much for me as it is for you. It, it's my way of staying focused and on top of, of, the, of the talk that I'm trying to give. Now, when you, when you spoke to this audience out here, which is Indian American largely, right, exactly. did you realize with that interaction that it's part of their psyche as well? No, I did not. No. Did you feel it? Oh, absolutely, after I got up there. i got to be honest with you, I was nervous. And I wasn't nervous for any other reason than the fact that my message, while well, today, I would have changed it today. When I got up there, had, I, had they not been familiar with me, and that was the thing that made me nervous, because I build all my corporate and family thing around what I'm known for, which is football. I don't talk so much about football as I build it around it. I would have had to have changed it and gone to a different type of speech wouldn't have been as nearly as much fun for me, but it may have been appropriate, but that, that, that did not happen. I was able to feel, you know, you feed off of a crowd, and they were into it, so I was into it. Understanding also, listen, there's still a lot of people out there that don't know you, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. You can see backstage here a lot of people do know you, and yes. finally, uh, the Indian American community, the Asian com right. American community, are not a, a part of football right now. Right. Um, if they do want to aspire to being a Terry Bradshaw, what do you have to say to them? Well, first of all, it's very simple. If you're living here in America, which most of these folks are, uh, they obviously, it's like anything else you aspire to do, you go to work at it. You go to, uh, for the young kids out there that are, that are really big, you know, get with proper coaching, probably through high school. If you're young, want to be a quarterback or a receiver, work on those traits, get someone to help you learn how to grip and throw the football. Go to camps. I'll tell you what, here in America, we have so many wonderful court football camps where these young people get a fresh start on the basics of how to play the game of football. And I would encourage anyone out there that has any interest whatsoever to get with one of those camps or with your local program, with your junior high, your middle school, or your high school. Okay, thank you very much for joining us on thank TV. You, sir.